Hello everybody. Okay, it is Saturday morning. I am currently trying to park to get into Blade Show. The line is probably like two blocks, just for you guys to know, the event parking is completely full. This is like the additional parking and I'm literally like moving at walking speed, just trying to get a spot. So this is how busy this place is gonna be. I cannot wait to show you inside. I can't wait to get inside. You guys know I have been on the road for a few days now. I drove like nine hours the first day, four and a half hours yesterday. I will be staying here today and then tomorrow back home another nine hour drive just because I wanted to do fun stuff. So um, I'm excited to show you Blade Show and stay tuned for some amazing content. And I hope I can get here soon. Bye. Okay guys, excuse how dirty my um, windshield is, however. Look at this. So this is the line that I'm waiting on to get parking for Blade Show. So do you see like that first car? That's not even like at the entrance of the parking. But I'm just here waiting to get in so I can see some cool blades. Oh my God. Okay, so while I'm waiting for parking, I will show you what I'm bringing. So my LFD hat, of course. And please disregard the nastiness in my car. I've been on the road for days with my son and my dad and it's a little bit crazy. Then I have my um, Melissa Backwoods handbag, which I really like. I hope I can meet Melissa today. I have all my credit cards and cash here, car keys up there. Um, in here, of course, uh, Spyderco PM2. And in here, I have what I honestly think is the most important thing. I have my Little Fit Devil stickers with my information, just in case I make some new friends. Hey guys, I'm here at the Cold Steel booth. Cats over there will forge relations and keep from Cold Steel. I'm gonna show you around. Hold up. Okay, this is what we have going on here. I already grabbed a couple of things to take home, to be honest with you. And believe me, there's gonna be a lot of reviews coming up. As expected, Bastinelli is absolutely packed, but I had to stop by, you guys. Look at this. Oh, all my favorite knives all right there. And you guys know Bastian. Right Say hi, Nick. Hi. <laughs> There's Bastian. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay, so we are at SNW Metal Works, and Jared right there is the winner of one of the Forge and Fire shows. So we are having a blast here with Kat and K9 and Will from Forge Relations. And of course, I want all of these knives. All of them. 
Okay, guys, the Spider Co booth is absolutely insane. I'll meet you over here to read Look at this. I need all these knives like right now. What do you think? Give a pin to uh, my Archie dog with the best. They have little pins on patches and stuff. Oh my so. god, you get a pin for Millie. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, we need we need two. We need one for the service dog. Here we are at Ace Knives. So he's engraving through the But that's gonna make a beautiful blade hand. I know. Really, really nice. That's amazing. Oh, phone check. Here's the. Uh, is this close enough? What's that? Is this close enough? I'll show you guys the other side. This is. I finished this yesterday. So there's the. There's the other side. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're trying to get to that stage on the other side today. We'll see what happens. You have some skill. This is amazing. Yeah, that is Badass. so cool. This is incredible. Good that job. puts laser engraving to shame. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little different look, isn't it? Hey, really, it really is. You could never replicate that on a, on a laser. There's no way. Uh, all those black areas are actually like what you saw me doing there. Mm -hmm. They're all removed. So. How long have you been doing it? I think it's clean. I think it's cleaner looking than laser. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've been doing it for about 10 years. I learned through this company, so uh, this company offers training classes where they teach people how to do this. What? So, what is the company again? Uh, GRS Tools. So, yeah, I took, I've taken about 12 of their classes and now I teach for them. So. Really? What's the depth? How many, what's the depth that you're taking out that you're removing? Is there a certain uh, like... Deep. It is? Oh yeah, it is really deep. Side kind of see some of these walls and edges here. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, you can go as deep as you want. I mean, Sometimes they do like what's called sculpting. You can see it on the far left up there on our banner. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So that's that's oscillating. Essentially. So when you're yeah, the so engraving you tool it. itself yeah. is oscillating. How was that? It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a, like a big oh, wow. jackhammer. Yeah, like a jackhammer. Yeah. Wow. No, you're doing all right. Okay, I'm here at Morris Knives. Show me. It's a 45 caliber black powder muzzle layer. What? Historically, they used to make these about 400 years ago. Yeah. As far back as 1550. So this is just a historical weapons book. Well, so what? like here, 1550, back in Germany. So the idea is not our idea, but it is 100% our design. That's incredible. Yeah. We're a bit of historians as well as weapons makers. Okay, so, that's incredible. So and then like this one, yeah. like these cut and shoots, that's yeah. what you see on that side of the table. See? Well, look at that. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now. <laughs> ah, there you go. So I am here with Bram Frank. He is the developer of one of my most favorite opening mechanisms. Say hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. So there's eight blade shapes. Wow. If you have a couple, so you can pick. And I don't know, I don't know if you have the MISOs or any of the pink ones. I do have the MISOs. I love the MISOs. I have already reviewed that one. Sun goods? I believe I have Sun goods as well. Okay. Cool. Okay, so Bram allows you to open like Pac-Man, Waka Waka, so you can put something in here and cut to a set depth. So you can see, so I didn't cut all the way through. I can use it like scissors and cut through. Nice. If I'm on the ramp, I can now do filet or delicate tip work. And if I don't want to run into the surface, they stand on their own and I can do reverse chef cutting and cut right through. That's amazing. Okay. okay, everybody, I am at the after party of a Blade Show at the Renaissance Hotel here in Atlanta. Check it. I'm actually sitting on the sidelines being nothing but unsociable. 
but I wanted to show you guys a little bit. I'm gonna stand up and show you, okay? Just too many people for me. It's gonna have a big party. Look at the hotel. It's like never ending. And look at that elevator. It's like scary.